<sighs> wow. Uh, hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I can literally tell you that I know that it's been hell of a journey and um, it's quite exciting to see I'm back on the screen with you. For all my amazing subscribers who have been looking forward to my videos and have not been able to meet up recently, I am sending my sincere apology. I know it's been a while on the screen and I'm so excited that going forward, we're actually going to be doing more amazing stuff now and I'm going to be ditching out a lot of cool content and you can just stick around with me. So let's get started. So recently, AI has been one of the most exciting innovation right now. And um, it has been one of the most exciting things that people did not imagine that can, you know, just come and change the world. Two years ago, it was more around Web3 blockchain technology was new disrupt innovation that came into the, you know that surfaced and everybody was all around over blockchain and all that yeah blockchain is still you know going stronger i have to say it's the whole day amazing technology but now what do you have to say here is everywhere and it's quite exciting to see many people many companies shifting focus to it and the turning point of ChatGPT, ChatGPT came on and ChatGPT became one of the interesting platform, you know, that could help a lot of people to solve problems, make work easier for them. And, you know, since then, AI, a lot of AI innovations, platforms keep coming up and doing a lot of amazing things. And what do we have to say about the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, you know, with an amazing AI features pretty much AI is just surfacing from nowhere and doing amazing stuff right now and I just want to quickly want to go through three amazing AI platforms that could actually help you educatively you know so the first one I have on my list is ChatGPT. ChatGPT is actually an incredible language model developed by OpenAI and you know seeing what ChatGPT has been about recently building on the sources of its predecessor you know trained with diverse internet tests ChatGPT has kind of been designed to actually understand you know and generate human-like text expressions and you can use it to you know you can work with ChatGPT interactively and you know see the amazing things the platform is doing talk to it you know ask him questions that can make life easier for you some people even say they graduate now and they are sending a big shout out to ChatGPT for helping them do their project and all more but for me uh, you know uh, if you have to come down to the lower level, we will say whether you're looking for a creative assistant, you know, in whatever you want to do, or you want to seek answers to complex questions, or just engaging in cultural conversations, you know, ChatGPT is, you know, is actually there to provide you with that intelligence, and, you know, and give you that context of, you know, aware responses that you needed, you know, in your conversations and all. So it's an amazing platform. I would say ignore the chaos in the, uh, you know, open AI, you know, Gaza and controversies. ChatGPT is still pretty much amazing. And if you have not started using it, I think it's something you should try out, you know, now and say that it will complement your effort, it will complement your skills, it will make it work easier for you and you can engage with such platform more than ever. The second one on my list is actually Bing. Microsoft Bing is another amazing AI, you know, conversational platform, you know, that it's incorporated into the Bing search engine, just like we have Google search. Um, it's actually, you know, of course, created by Microsoft and um, Bing incorporated into like AI makes Bing more, you know, maybe it's a competitive to what Google search is all about uh, say for example you can have improved search you know relevance now and offer intelligent insights to you then it, it lets you take a closer look at what Bing was before what Bing is now after now and know why people have been all around using Google but you know AI always is like an advancement of initial technology for me so integrating AI into existing technology is unimaginable it's like magic so uh, I would say integrating Bing into, you know, AI into Bing makes it more um, amazing 
and you can also chat with Bing AI, you know, just like when you're chatting with ChatGPT, and that's pretty much amazing, I have to say. AI driven features in Bing include things around, you know, answering your questions more accurately now and giving you more better uh, suggestions than it was before. There's now quick facts, there's virtual search, there's also rich, more rich results than, you know, and uh, the way Bing were before initially. So I will say personally, in my own opinion, there's still a lot of work to be done and to make it better because I have worked, I used Bing so sometimes I tested it and I think there's still a lot of work to be done to make it better. But for now, I think it's really cool that AI is integrated in that platform and amazing stuff. And you can go check it out sometimes when you need to use a search engine and all that. And finally, I have on my list uh, is Google. Of course, Google will make it to my list, actually. Google been amazing all this while with a lot of amazing technology from the Google search, Google map, and you know, from even their Google Dog, Google Excel sheet, and a lot more that Google have actually done. I would say big shout out and kudos to Google for the amazing things they've been doing. And I would also love to see more of amazing things going forward. You know, it was not a shock when you saw Google launched Google Bad. Google Bad makes it to my list as well, which is the last one I'm actually going to talk about today because, well, since Google think that AI can, you know, meaningfully improve people's life, and I would say that's the biggest impact we come when everybody can, you know, can access it. You know, Google has always been believing to create this accessibility, you know, access to information for their billion users. That has been their goals. And it's pretty much amazing to be doing that for, you know, for decades now. And I would say Google Bad coming into play, you know, is also amazing before they recently launched Google Gemini. Um, I would say, Google Bard, like a tool, you know, a conventional AI tool by Google, you know, collaborate with Bard, you know, you can brainstorm ideas, you can spark creativity and also accelerate productivity, which is pretty much amazing. So um, after, you know, after Google launched Google Bard and, you know, before you know, we have an improved version or another version of Google Bard, which was integrated into, into Google Bard, which is called Google Gemini. Uh, I think Gemini is the first model to outperform woman experts on him, LU, that's the massive multi-tax language understanding. Uh, I think one of the most popular methods to test the language and problem solving abilities of AI models. And you know, Google always want to be at the top of their game. You won't be surprised when they keep launching more stuff around AI. So Gemini is actually built from ground up, you know, for multi-modality and uh, you know reasoning seamlessly across text and also images video audio and even code like you know google is launching them yeah, to actually help you with reasoning you know around even images audios text and even code that like developers now you could see amazing things that developers want to write less code and you know they could say that gbt or google gemini is actually going to help them do a lot of stuff like that and it's going to be pretty much awesome that you have to not think too much and here I can help you write faster code, more you know functional code, more secured code. AI can help you detect you know the lags in your code, you know, probably the the vulnerability in your code and a lot more. So pretty much for software engineers like this, we are bowling. We are like bowling guys, we are chilling. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much it's an amazing thing to see what AI is doing and what AI will do more as well, pretty much. So I would say Gemini is it's another platform that we change this, you know, we, maybe a huge competitor of ChatGPT, I can say, but pretty much is going to be really amazing, you know, that will really change the face of the world in part of AI going forward. So conclusively, uh, indeed, there are quite a lot of controversies around AI and uh, also being dangerous to humanity. But I have to say, tell you that every innovation has controversies. So as when Bitcoin came into world blockchain, they have their own controversy being you know dangerous to humanity. And I would say that every technology that evolves and tends to disrupt all the existing technologies uh, nowadays tend to have its own, you know, 
uh, danger to humanity in one way or the other. You know, we have seen this happen with blockchain technology, you know, stating the environmental impact of mining blockchain like Bitcoin, Ethereum and a lot more. But including the fear of uncertainty and doubt actually on its use cases like crypto, NFT, it's hard. You know, people always have this food, like the fear, the uncertainty, the doubt around the crypto itself, you know, and all that. Also, as amazing AI is, if used wrongly, AI can be dangerous and unsafe. But, you know, AI won't be excluded from the same disruptive technology thing to have both negative and positive impacts. Uh, I think we should also tend to focus more on, you know, ensuring that the negative do not surpass the positive impact as well. So we can also find a way around that to balance that through compliance and control to ensure that AI do not, you know, have huge negative effect on humanity as well. But I have to say AI is amazing. And um, the model, the ability to understand, you know, help human to do things more easier. I'm quite fascinated about what AI we do and what we do more going forward. So if you like this video, feel free to share with your network. And yeah, and I'll see you in my very next one. Cheers.